Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as I'm turning off Wayne Dyer here. Welcome, this is Lorraine Purcell. Hi, so glad it's Monday, so glad that you're here with me for Fairy Godmother Monday, where we tune back into our desires, we come back to ourselves, and we remember who we are, why we're here, and we acknowledge those desires of our hearts that God has put there. God, Jesus, all that is, Buddha, Allah, source, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, those desires in our heart is, um, God put it there. All that is put it there. That's all to say that we can honor them and not negate ourselves or our higher power by saying yes to it and yes to ourselves. Yes to ourselves and have our own back. Have our own back. And not in a selfish way, not in a way that edges anybody else out, but in a way that is honoring ourselves and honoring everybody else in the world as well. So I'm gonna put in a few comments so that you guys can find me okay. Hi, oops. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Welcome. Yes, so as you jump on, whether it's live or in the replay, please say hi. I want to thank you for joining me, um, the people who've been with me for the five-year journey that I've been on. Let's see, in the next two weeks, in two weeks, it'll be five years that I've been doing these live streams. And so I want to thank all of you who have been supporting me by joining me and being here with your presence for these five years. And welcome my newcomers on IG. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to... Welcome all of the people in my Confident Dreamer Facebook group. If you'd like to request to join, go ahead over and find The Confident Dreamer with Lorraine Purcell over in Facebook. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. So I am here with you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Good morning. Yes, happy Halloween. Um, nice to see you, Sean. Um... I'm here every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Monday is where we go into the quantum field together with our dream, holding the vision, uh, careful that we are focusing on what we want to bring into the world, which brings up something I wanted to mention. Got that right there on the board so I can see it. Um, and every Friday where I take us all into the journey inside the body the inner journey where we are listening to the intelligence of our 50 plus trillion cells. Hi, Vicki, honey, how are you? So um, that's that's what I am. I'm a, almost 30 years, a marriage, family, and child counselor, certified life coach, certified educational therapist. Um, I've been helping people has been my dream and my vision my whole life. And uh, I love that I've been able to do that and serve so many thousands of people around the world. And Mondays and Fridays are my way of giving back. Um, I no longer do individual sessions, and so I do more of a group setting now, and this is one of them. So thank you for being here. I love looking at my desk and finding notes that are expired. That means I can throw this away. Artemia, yay! Welcome. So, um... Let's begin by breathing. Breathing deeply. Feel the white light coming in through the top of your head as that lamp back there is making it look like I'm a saint. <laughs> trying to do this thing, make it go away. That was cool, it went away. There it is, it went away, cool. Um, yeah, so how was your weekend? Did you obey your body? I did. My body was telling me on Friday to rest. I did a lot of resting, and I did have a lot of alone time. 
And even though my alone time was interrupted, I was able to re re recapture it and, um, and go back into alone time, even though it wasn't maybe ideal. It's like, I'm, I'm losing the ideal thing. I'm, uh, I'm, I was able to recapture the alone. <laughs> my life is very peopled these days, which I'm loving. And I'm also one that needs lots of alone and downtime. So I was able to recapture and do what my body said on Friday that it needed to restore and recuperate. So today our focus is on our desire and what we desire to bring in, or rather for us to go to, because it's already here. If we've asked for it, it's already here. So it's the process of us getting closer to it, which means we can receive it then. Okay, I'm gonna move this in. All right, yes. Vicky, today is my youngest grandson's birthday, Jordan. He is two. Only see him oh, once. Wishing him an amazing day. He was born 10, 31, 20, full moon. Okay, we're just sending love to your heart, Vicky. And love to Jordan on your behalf. And that he would know you whether he gets to see you or not. And that there would be a day, whether here on earth or in the ethers later, where he'll go, I always knew you. So we're just sending a sacred moment of that for Jordan and you, Vicki. Yes, 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 yes. Now, here's a little trick, and this is um, something that I can definitely share on Fairy God Better Monday. There was a time when I was completely estranged from my family and my four grandkids and my son. And I just said finally, you know, I accepted it, I grieved, and I finally just said, fuck this shit. <laughs> and I started visioning happy chaos in my house with grandkids crawling all over and that counter there with those three bar stools full of grandkids and that one, that bar stool way in the back there with a grandkid and just chaos. <laughs> and that's what I have now. So this is what the quantum field offers us. The quantum field gives us more of what we focus on. The quantum field gives us more of what we focus on. And I would sit on my couch over here. Some of you have seen my couch, my beautiful couch. I have a miracle story with that too. See that round, beautiful couch? Can I see it? It's pretty dark over there. Now it's covered with kids. Not right now, obviously. They all went home. Um, but I would sit on that couch and I would just see laughter and food and goings on and shenanigans going on. And that's exactly what my life is now. I am cooking and feeding kids. And okay, here's another addition. I'm gonna show you my floor. Do you see that blue floor? <laughs> that's my son converting my, my living room to a wrestling mat. <laughs> so there is wrestling going on and laughter and chaos. And I've trained them all that before they leave my house, the pillows have to be perfect. Everyone puts their own, takes their, when you're eating at my table, you don't just get up and leave when you're ready to go. You have to wait until everybody else is finished eating. And so we have great conversations while that's going on. Also, they do not pick up their fork until I have sat down and picked up my fork. <laughs> and then when, when dinner is over or the meal is over, they take their plate. They wash it off, they put it in the dishwasher, and then someone else washes the counter. I don't do it. I'm training them to do it. So here's a little thing I heard from Wayne Dyer this morning. When we witness violence on a movie or on television, or even a violent thought goes through our mind, like we remember a movie or something on television, turn our attention to satisfaction. Turn our attention to ease. Turn our attention to beauty. Send light and love to the world at those moments. That is a, uh, a good uh, reminder to send light and love to the world at those times. Okay? So when we see violence, 
or we're, or when we're feeling something unsettling, we're feeling something upsetting, like maybe you're remembering a fight that you got into. Uh, just when you are, as soon as you become aware of it, send light and love to it. So I send light and love to it, but then send light and love to the whole world. Okay? So let's just do that right now. Let's just focus on ease, focus on beauty, focus on satisfaction. Focus, focus, focus. We turn our attention from anything that's that and we go to beauty. Go to beauty. Just stay there. Focus on ease. If you say your life is easy, life will reflect back to you whatever you say. So if you are in a shit show life, that's okay. I've been there a million times. Just start turning that ship around, turning that Titanic around and start focusing on ease and start feeling ease and sometimes it's easier to imagine it when it's so far from you because it's so much what you want so just send ease my life is easy my life is easy my life is so easy my life is so full of abundance myself my life is so full of laughter and fun and money and overflow of blessings and time opening up and health my life is so healthy i am so healthy and just start feeling all of this and pretty soon everything in your body starts to shift you notice all the sequins going up <laughs> you know those things you've seen the sequins when you push it this way they're all going this way and then you push them down they're all going down well a lot of times we catch ourselves all of our sequins are down and we need to just start saying my life is so easy it is so fun i have the most fun i have just filled with friends who respect my boundaries we laugh so much and i have so much love in my life so much abundance so much money time opens up i know my magic abilities i'm just magical people are flocking to me because i'm so full of light and love and all of your sequins start, you can just feel it in your viscera, like your lower gut, and all of a sudden the sequins start going up, okay? So just spend time being there in that. Vicki, sending peace, love, and prayers throughout the universe. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. So back to light and love through your body all the way down to Mother Earth. And again, inhale, light and love going down through your body, cleaning your 50 trillion cells, going down into the middle of the earth and moving this closer. Again, inhale, bring it down, 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 cleaning, clearing your body down into the middle of Mother Earth. Mother Earth, what do you require of us today? What do you require of us today? What do you require of us today? <sighs> Mother Earth will give you an answer, usually of um, something that is uplifting to yourself. Because when you're uplifting yourself, you're uplifting the Earth, you're uplifting the planet, and you are of service to Mother Earth at that juncture. So what what is your quiet little message from Mother Earth? Mother Earth, what do you require of us today? We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mother Earth. We love you. 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 Thank 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 you. Think on these things. Think on these things. Mother Earth saying to me, be happy. Be happy, yes. Whoops. Be happy. <laughs> Change that. There we are. Darcy, I've been thinking of you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, happy Halloween to you too. Okay. Once you get your message, your private message from Mother Earth, you can put it in the comments if you wish. I personally believe that when we 
step out of our comfort zone and we put a comment in about our desire or about what Mother Earth might say to you, for example, that we're telling universe that we're in the game. And then life opens up for us even more. Okay, even more. So you're welcome to put the comment in the um, comments. And now we're going to come back to our feet. We're just going to do a counterclockwise quick spin. For, um, hold on a second. Through our body all the way up in a counterclockwise spin. All the way up, all the way up. White, gold, and pink light. Just to align everything. And just be mindful if there's anything in your body that um, is speaking to you. Because this is what we do on Fridays. We really speak, we li really listen to our bodies. So just tune in. Just tune in. 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 What is your heart saying? Put your hands on your heart. My heart is saying, be still. Nice. Did you know that stillness is the one and only voice of God? So the question would be, how often are we going into stillness so that we can hear the voice of God and we can commune with the voice of God? <sighs> so now that we're here, just put your hands on your heart and tune into your desires. Some people don't even know their desire. There's no shame in that. What that simply means is that we have uh, spent so much time looking outward, so much time tending to people in our family, so much time um, being distracted that we don't know our own heart. And it's time, in these times together here with me, it's our time to come back home to ourselves. So come back home to yourself and tune into your desire. Even if you have to start with your, you know, maybe your top order is my family is safe. So your desire is that your family is safe, that your son does well on his test. Um, so, so let's just uh, tune in to that desire, the desire of our heart. <sighs> Find that desire. And now, if you want to go beyond it, go to the bigger desire underneath it. The bigger desire underneath that desire. And then you'll be starting to go down to parts of why you came here on this planet. You did not come here to be a mother. You did not come here to be a, da a daughter. You did not come here to be a citizen. There was something that was just you. It was just you. You came here as a being of light and so there are desires beyond those although those are so important too because they're like first order of business because until we get those until we're sure that those are um, situated in the throne of God we can't go on with our own so if you're ready go to the deeper desires of your heart the deeper desires of your heart so what are the deeper desires of your heart it could be deeper desire that your son does well on his test. It could be deeper desire that your family is healthy and happy. But what is underneath that too? So that's my challenge, my, my gentle challenge to you. What is that deeper desire, like your soul's purpose? Okay. Certainly if you have children and you have a partner, that's part of your um, mission and purpose. But it's not the only one. And a lot of times, especially as women, we get stuck thinking that that's our only. We forget that we came here as individuals first. <laughs> okay? You spent a good deal of your life without these others. So what was that initial desire of your heart? So let's just tune in. And now, what is it on a bigger scale if you bring it to modern time, to current time? What is that desire? Yes, 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 yes. 
and now the challenge is to have your own back in that beautiful desire that is part of your soul's mission. What is your real desire? Even the one that you're scared to tell anybody because it sounds like you're too full of yourself. What is that desire? Enjoy that. And now, whatever that desire is, you're just going to be in the middle of it. Like if, if it is with your family and your son doing well on, your on his test, you're going to see him walking in the door saying, I got an A, I aced it. And you guys are celebrating, you're jumping up and down. You make him his favorite meal. Okay. So whatever that is. Now for me, I'm, I'm way beyond. <laughs> I'm way into, you know, my desire of, uh, you know, my message going out and helping the planet in a big way. Millions and millions of people. Okay, so I am feeling that right now. I am feeling that as if it has happened and I'm sitting there looking back on it. That is the perspective because quantum physics says that whatever we focus on expands. And I am a master manifester. I can say that now without tripping up on my tongue. I have, I have, I have, by being a master manifester, what that means is that I have brought myself to the point where I could receive the desires of my heart because they're all here for us now. All we have to do is use our imagination to get there. All right? Because without getting there, we um, reject it when we see it because we don't think we're good enough. So we have to spend time in the vibration experiencing it so that when it arrives, we are ready. Is this making sense? <sighs> Just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Experience it now. Experience it now. The desire of your heart. Experience it now. What is that thing that contrast is causing you to desire? You have something in your life that is not feeling good, and so you want the opposite. So what is that thing? Just desire it as if it's happening now. As if it's happening right now. And bask in this. Bask in it. It feels so good. And then you get to the point where it doesn't matter if you have it or not, because you are having the experience of it in your mind. And Henry David Thoreau said that we belong to a higher order of beings when we live according to our imagination. So it's okay to be here. And you, in fact, had it when you were a little girl. When you were a little girl or you were a little boy, you had it because you used to play dress up, you used to imagine so big. This is an invitation to go back there because that's all you need. That's all you need. And then, as you stay in your imagination in your, of what you want, see, we can go into the negative imagination, like, oh my God, COVID, oh my God, this illness, oh my God, that, oh, you know. And that is negative faith, and that is bringing in the vibration of those things. So we want to really, really be careful about what we spend our time imagining. And the way you can tell is immediately you don't feel good. So... Our number one goal is to feel good. That's all we have to worry about is feeling good. We just need to feel good. That's all. So as soon as you start not feeling good, you don't have to know what it was. Just think of something beautiful. Go back to your dream and have your own back. Have your own back. Have your own back. And say yes to you. So let's put our hands on our heart. Say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me and my desires. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me and desires because my desires because God is in me. God is in me wanting to experience this through me. God is in me wanting to experience this through me. That's why you have the desire. That's why you have the desire. So here's my magic wand as your fairy godmother. 
And here is my crystal ball as your fairy godmother. And as you keep doing this, as you keep feeling as if, as if, I'm going to tell you that it's coming true for you. As if you're there doing it now. And you pretend all day long that you're that person. How would that person act? How would that person eat? How would they dress? What would they be doing with their day? And you do those things. You do those things. So important. And now the quantum field is going to create more things like that. And you're going to feel better and better and better. And you'll start to notice signs of land. Things that just feel good and feel good and feel good and feel good and feel good start to come in. And this means that you are getting actually closer and closer and closer to that dream. Because that dream is there. It's there because you asked in your heart. This is such exciting stuff to me. This is quantum reality. It's always been here. We only discovered it 100 years ago in 1920 with a, some kind of experiment. I don't know that that was the double slit. I think the double slit experiment was later. But they found that the experimenter's expectation of the experiment skewed the outcome. And so they that was the beginning of understanding quantum reality. And it's always been in existence. That's why when we start to feel bad, we'll get more and more and more and more and more. And it'll kind of start snowballing in that direction. But when we, when we take the effort to turn the Titanic around uh, through the water to feeling good, finding something to feel good about, and we stay in that vibration, you 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 stay in that vibration. more good things. You'll start to notice little tiny things working in your favor, and then pretty soon you are back in the warm and the light. And then you start to get the way I am now, and I can notice right away if I'm not feeling good, and I, I move that around right away. So stay in this energy all day long as if, stay in this energy all week long as if you're in the middle of it doing it. And now let's set the intention for the week. What is your intention for the week? My intention for the week is to stay in this vibration. To have what I desire. Yes, 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 yes. I say yes to me. I have my own back. Believing in ourselves to win, not to place or to show, but to win. Believing in ourselves to win, not to place or to show but to win, like in a horse race. We have to have our own back before universe even has our back. Because all that shenanigan energy you're putting out, it's like, I'm not enough. Who me? I'm just little old me. It's like, we need to cut that out. We need to cut that out. We need to, yes, me. <laughs> yes, me. Yes, me. So if you're so inclined, put your intention in the comments. And here I am holding the agate from North Dakota and the crystal. Let's just hold this energy, hold this energy, hold this energy. The quantum field is working all the time. Be careful what you're thinking of. <laughs> a thought becomes a feeling. So it's the thoughts that come in through our head. We do not have to entertain our thoughts. Don't believe the thoughts in your head. Let's just bask here for a moment. Mm, feels so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. <sighs> Think on these things. Have the courage to overcome the propaganda of the church. Have the courage to overcome the propaganda of your family. Have the courage to overcome the propaganda of your peers. Have the courage to overcome the propaganda of, your, of, this, of social media. Be full of yourself. 
be full of yourself and shine your light while completely honoring everybody else. Let's take this beautiful energy and we're going to send it out across the entire planet. Yes, 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 energy all over the planet. I see the whole planet basked with white light. Yes, 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 yes. This is reaching every heart, every of the eight billion hearts. Yes, 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 yes. Light has won. Light has won. Light has won. Light has won. Yes, 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 yes. If everyone did this, there would be no violence. If everyone did this, everyone had would have enough food to eat. If everyone did this, there would be no people who wanted to rule the world. If everyone did this, there would be nobody who wanted to oppress anybody else because everyone's heart would be healed. So I send this blessing off with a kiss. Mwah. Send blessings and light to all the water molecules on the planet. Spend, send blessings and light to all the animals, to every water molecule, to every air molecule, and to every plant. I say yes, I say yes, I say yes. Affirmative energy all over the planet. <sighs> Go here to pick up my affirmations guide. My invitation is to print out five and put them all over your house so that you remember who you are. Thank you so much for spending the morning with me, the afternoon with me, the evening with me. I appreciate you. I see you. Thank you so much for being a part of my community. Thank you so much. And happy Halloween. Don't scare yourself. And I will see you Friday, if not before, for Body Talk Friday, where we go into our 50 trillion cells. We ground to Mother Earth. We find out what our body needs from us to heal and energize over the weekend. And we go in and see what our body is saying to us by the aches and the pains, what it wants us to eat more of, what it wants us to eat less of, drink more of, and drink less of. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in a few days. Mm.